Hello from Sketch Data. I've had some emails asking about how to modify the default sizes of the cabinets that are in the Sketch Data collections. And really the best way to do that is to simply create a local collection of cabinets that have the sizes you like to use. So that's what I'm going to demo in today's video. So we're going to start off by opening up SketchUp. And using the component browser, which I have over here on the right side, if you don't have that, you can go up to the toolbar and say window and look at and uh, open up the component browser and so let's see we will search the warehouse for sketch data and I'm looking for a collection so I do is collection uh, and then nothing comes up and that's probably because I'm not logged into the warehouse yep so up here on the toolbar there's a, a link to get to the warehouse which will then allow me to sign in. And you can certainly grab items. As I say, you can grab items from in here, but I find it faster to use the component browser. But now I'm signed in. And if I go back to the component browser and do a search, Okay, we can see the sketch data collection. So I'm going to grab a cabinet and we'll look for a base cabinet. We'll grab a one door, one drawer. So now that I have the cabinet that I want to save to my collection and also change the sizes on, one thing is when I start saving these cabinets off or components off to a collection, this thumbnail you see here in the component browser is going to be dependent on how it looks. And so I like to create a scene, and I also have that window open, which again can be accessed from the Windows uh, toolbar. You can see I have scenes. And so I'll add a new scene, and I just call it Stage. And I get the look that I want to have. So I'm just going to orbit around. And that looks pretty good, so I'll update it. That way if I get off kilter, I can just hit Stage, and it comes back. And that really helps me keep this image or thumbnail that's in the component browser look a lot more consistent. So now we have that done, let's modify the size of this cabinet. And we can either use the options in the Sketch Data Toolbar, or I have up here on the toolbars, I have the default component options uh, dialog that comes with SketchUp. Let's say we want to change the depth to 23 and 3 quarter inches, and we don't like the 6 inch. So by modifying these now and saving them off to a collection, as you drop them in, they'll always have that size. So let's, uh, it's highlighted, the cabinet. We're going to do a save as. And let's create a, a new catalog. And we'll do it in the My Documents folder. And My Designs. And we will then create a new folder here called base cabinets. And we're simply going to save this component off into this folder. So if I go back now to the component browser and open up a local collection, I can see there's my designs with the base cabinet subfolder. We'll put my designs here. Here's the base cabinets. And let's delete this one out. And we'll bring in this new one. And if we look at the component options, now they have those sizes we like. So before we go on to do the next component, by dropping this in, now we have, uh, th this component already exists. Let's see if we modify the size. I just want to show you what I like to do to avoid or keep the models cleaner. So I've changed the size. Let's bring in another one. And I have the outliner window open also which you can access through the windows. And see I start getting these pound signs. Here I don't have them, but on this one I do. So when I'm doing the, the component catalog, I try to avoid having those pound signs. Which means that before I bring in my next component to change sizes, I want to do a purge, which I can get up here on the toolbar model info. And I want to purge out all these existing component definitions before I bring in my next item. So now that's purged. I can go back to components 
and let's say we want to bring this one in again and we can do for example we can change our units if you want to switch over to metric and we'll do millimeters so now these are just millimeters that have been converted over not really conducive to real world design so we'll change our default sizes something a little better Let's see i think it's 870 and we'll do 141 and i believe toe kicks are usually 150 millimeters okay so now i've changed those designs and if i use my tape measure tool on the toolbar i can hit t so now i've got my millimeters now we'll save this one off so i right click on it save as and you usually wouldn't mix perhaps metric and fraction or inches in the same catalog but let's just save it for the sake we'll put in that my designs we'll delete this item and if we open up local collection my designs there's that base cabin i just created and we can see it has all the metric sizes that i wanted to save now if you want this to be to more easily get to this collection i have the ability to do favorites so if i add this to my favorites i can see i have my design so if i bounce to component sampler to get back to it i can go to my designs there we go so now we have those items and we can bring them in um, anyways so what I would do is systematically go through and and recreate the structure of the catalog you want at the dimensions you need them to be and uh, hopefully that'll save you some time when you're dropping them in on new designs I hope this video is helpful and thank you for watching